There's, there's just nothing better than the pure spirit of a shooter who loves to party. I just saw the way he looked internally and it was like unafraid to be himself. I think he obviously has the ability to truly bring the world together. I can officially say that the Church of Claytheism ruined my life. There's no way to wrap our mind around what Clay is and what he can do. But has, has this room been cleansed? Has he been cleansed? Claytheism, the movement that has taken the NBA by storm, is more than just basketball for its most loyal followers. Let me tell you about claytheism. Claytheists shoot. Shooters shoot, claytheists shoot. And I take that seriously, I take it rigorously. I work the program and I work the steps up the mountainside. Clay Thompson was drafted in 2011, and for the first time ever, the world saw Clay. The personality stuff, I, I guess, I'll take it or leave it, but like, this man has the most gorgeous looking Jay, maybe in NBA history. He has no conscience. You have to be that way to hit some of the shots he does and to attempt some of the shots that he does. Clay Thompson once had 37 points in a quarter. Watching that performance reminded me of other times throughout history where we've just seen great people do just transcendent things. But when Clay Thompson takes over in Oklahoma City. Game six of the Western Conference 2016 Finals. 41 points, 11 three-pointers. 11 is a twin number. It's two ones, united. Three is the trinity. Four plus one equals five, which is fingers on a hand, which was hot. I mean, I believe he's a good basketball player. Like, how that applies to my life, I have no idea. I've never actually seen Clay Thompson play basketball because Clay Thompson doesn't play basketball. So when you tell me that he scored 60 points in 29 minutes, I hear numbers and I hear data points, but that's not what Clay is and that's not what he does. What he does is change us. He changes who we are as people. It wasn't just Clay's on-court performance that struck a chord. He also had the ability to lose consciousness during press conferences. Uh, if we take care of the ball, you know, it's going to be, you know, uh, the, I don't know, I'm sorry. No, but, okay, so the last couple of games. Yeah. Pete Clay, to me, is the guy who goes out there, shoots 13 for 16, comes back, gets interviewed about this amazing feat, goes literally unconscious and zones out in the middle and then returns just for like a, some kind of encore. He's high, man. I... I'm gonna show you something that only the highest level of claytheists can actually achieve. It's called transcendental claytheation. The other day, I was watching a YouTube video of early Ricky Rubio highlights. What was I talking about? Perhaps the highest levels of claytheism were achieved during the summer of 2017 when Clay Thompson took a trip to China. Sometimes Clay morphs, and that's how you know he's really special. There is nothing like China Clay. He showed how powerful he was outside the confines of the United States. He obviously has the ability to truly bring the world together. Um, whether he's performing push-ups with basketballs on his back. So when Clay goes to China, it's much like Alexander the Great establishing the Great Spice Roads. Or he's trying to dance at the club in China. His spin in the club is literally not something he's capable of doing anywhere else. Or he's tasting their food and kind of gagging on it. Um, I mean, that's a truth that most people don't always bring to their, their travel and he became another person. And that's really what it's about. He's, he's, he's everyone. Hey, I already told y'all I'm not talking about this shit. However, there are some whose lives have been ruined by claytheism. Like this young man who has chosen to speak publicly about his experience for the first time ever. My, my name is Danny and uh, 
I, I, can, I can officially say that the Church of Claytheism ruined my life. Now, the first thing that they tell you in the church is to believe in the reverse waterfall. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to shoot more consistently with great form. Imagine reverse waterfall. It, it, it goes up and then it goes out. And just like that, you are serving at the hand of clay. Once you hit a certain level in the Claytons, you will be able to reverse waterfalls. And I fully believed it. So I got myself into a flight to Bangladesh, found myself a waterfall, sat right under it and broke my fucking back. Oh my God. Oh my God, I made a mistake. While skeptics will always remain, it is impossible to ignore the impact that claytheism has on its followers. Clay is trying to free your mind. Each decision we make is completely decisionless. Every act that we take has no action, and that's what claytheism continues to mean to me. Claytheism actually is the number one organization that gets people off drugs. Did you know that? Did you know that? Claytheism inspires, it uplifts, it encourages us to be our best selves when it matters and our goofiest when it doesn't. And I just look forward to living the rest of my life and my other lives with Claytheism. Will Claytheism be the thing that unites us all? Yes. The answer is yes. I am a Claytheist. 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 I am a proud Claytheist. I am the er Claytheist. I am the first Claytheist. I am Claytheism. I'm Team Steph. Why, why are we talking about the second best shooter in basketball? I'm, I'm done with this. Can we, can I, can I get out of here? Can someone help me?